Imagine a city framed by snow-capped mountains and a sparkling Pacific coastline. That's Vancouver, a jewel of the Pacific Northwest. But beneath its postcard-perfect skyline lies a growing crisis that threatens its livability. Soaring housing costs, gridlocked roads, and a population boom that shows no signs of slowing. Now, in a bold move to reshape the city's future, a $2.8 billion megaproject is underway the Broadway subway. This ambitious plan will stretch 5.7 kilometers across central Vancouver, carving twin tunnels beneath one of the city's busiest corridors and building six brand new underground stations, all while linking to the city's iconic Skitran network. But how do you dig deep into one of Canada's busiest cities without bringing it to a standstill? Nestled between towering mountains, ocean bays, protected farmland, and an international border, Vancouver has no room to grow outwards. What was once a natural blessing has now become a major constraint. The city is hemmed in, and the only direction left to grow is up and down. Back in 1996, Vancouver's population was around 1.8 million. Today, that number has surged past 2.8 million, and by 2050, it's projected to hit 3.8 million. That's an extra million people in just 25 years along with 600,000 new jobs and countless more cars on the road. Vancouver now suffers from the fourth worst traffic congestion in North America, only behind Mexico City, New York, and Toronto. A 10-kilometer commute can take up to 22 minutes. Buses, the only mass transit alternative for many areas, are packed, slow, and frequently delayed. Designed as a major extension to the city's Skitran Millennium Line, this project will transform the Broadway Corridor, one of the busiest and most vital arteries in Vancouver. Stretching from VCC, Clark Station to Arbuta Street, it will replace overcrowded bus lines, relieve congestion, and set the foundation for new housing and commercial developments. Every day, more than 30,000 passengers rely on the current 99 B-Line buses, notorious for being overpacked and slow. The subway will cut travel times dramatically and offer a reliable, high-capacity alternative. But here's the real game-changer. This isn't just about transportation. Once operational, the subway will unlock the Broadway plan, an ambitious urban renewal proposal that will bring high-rise housing, new business spaces, and green development to what is currently low-density cityscape. Engineering beneath the surface. So how do you build a massive subway under an already dense and busy city? Very, very carefully, the Broadway subway involves 5.7 kilometers of twin underground tunnels, six new underground stations, a 700 meter elevated guideway linking to the existing Skitran. Once launched, the TBMs move steadily forward up to 18 meters per day cutting through the earth while simultaneously installing concrete tunnel rings behind them. These rings form a permanent lining, supporting the tunnel and protecting it from collapse. But tunneling through a city isn't without challenges. Here's how it works. 20 meter deep holes are drilled to install massive support columns. Concrete girders and deck panels are placed on top. Traffic is rerouted above while excavation continues underneath. This system has been deployed across Broadway to minimize surface disruption, allowing both construction and daily life to move forward simultaneously. In addition, dedicated work zones near station sites help contain equipment and materials off main roads, although it has required the demolition of some existing buildings. Setbacks, strikes, and local struggles. No mega project comes without bumps in the road. In 2022, a strike by more than 100 concrete plant workers halted the region's supply of a key material, delaying tunneling operations and pushing the completion date from 2025 to 2026. Local businesses, especially those in Mount Pleasant, have also suffered from decreased foot traffic due to construction noise, road closures, and reduced parking. Some have closed permanently, sparking controversy over compensation and support. More broadly, the Broadway plan which will reshape entire neighborhoods with high-rise towers, has drawn criticism over potential displacement of renters and gentrification. A proposal in 2023 to limit displacement was ultimately rejected by the city council, 
citing the urgency of development. Those affected will be offered comparable housing, but many remain uncertain about their future. Despite these challenges, the Broadway subway holds the potential to fundamentally change Vancouver. Once operational, it will cut commute times across the Broadway corridor by up to 50%, remove thousands of cars from the road, easing congestion, create more than 13,000 direct and indirect jobs, support housing for tens of thousands of new residents, and lay the foundation for a second downtown core. So, is the Broadway subway Vancouver's magic bullet? Maybe not, but it is a massive leap towards solving the city's most pressing issues, housing, congestion, and accessibility. It's a story of bold planning, complex engineering, and the constant balancing act between progress and preservation. This is not just Vancouver's subway. It's Vancouver's next chapter. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of Canada's most transformative infrastructure projects, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Visionary Mind. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on the world's most ambitious mega projects, setbacks, strikes, and local struggles. No mega project comes without bumps in the road. In 2022, a strike by more than 100 concrete plant workers halted the region's supply of a key material, delaying tunneling operations and pushing the completion date from 2025 to 2026. Local businesses, especially those in Mount Pleasant, have also suffered from decreased foot traffic due to construction noise, road closures, and reduced parking. Some have closed permanently, sparking controversy over compensation and support. More broadly, the Broadway plan, which will reshape entire neighborhoods with high-rise towers, has drawn criticism over potential displacement of renters and gentrification. A proposal in 2023 to limit displacement was ultimately rejected by the city council, citing the urgency of development. Those affected will be offered comparable housing, but many remain uncertain about their future. Despite these challenges, the Broadway subway holds the potential to fundamentally change Vancouver. Once operational, it will cut commute times across the Broadway corridor by up to 50%. Remove thousands of cars from the road, easing congestion. Create more than 13,000 direct and indirect jobs. Support housing for tens of thousands of new residents. And lay the foundation for a second downtown core. So, is the Broadway subway Vancouver's magic bullet? Maybe not, but it is a massive leap towards solving the city's most pressing issues. Housing, congestion, and accessibility. It's a story of bold planning, complex engineering, and the constant balancing act between progress and preservation. This is not just Vancouver's subway. It's Vancouver's next chapter. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of Canada's most transformative infrastructure projects, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Visionary Mind. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on the world's most ambitious mega projects.